All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm doing a K20, K24 swap. So the first thing I have to do is remove the head. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I normally, how I normally do it. So what I normally do is, I mean, what you have to do first is undo all the wires. And after you get all the wires done, you know, of course, remove the dipstick. Uh, you got this wire here to remove uh, in order to get that cover off. So you remove that wire, all these wires right here, and if you got some that some uh, bell covers have this bracket that holds those coolant lines, you have to get those two 10 millimeter bolts also. All right, so let me set you guys down and uh, I'll flip the camera and then I'll show you guys. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that 10 millimeter and that one there. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six, that middle one right there. And also you gotta remove uh, these coil packs. So these are all 10 millimeter bolts. So there's four of them. So I'm gonna remove all those first, get the coil packs out, and then I'll get the uh, valve cover nuts and then get that out. So let me uh, flip you guys. All right, so coil packs out. And it doesn't matter which order you go put these in, they're all the same. We'll set them to the side, and I'm going to shoot the bell cover out. Alright, set those aside. Now you got to be careful with these grommets here. These grommets, you try not to lose them. Usually, they're stuck on the valve cover. Uh, K series is really good about that being stuck on there. Sometimes you could just remove them uh, with the valve cover. Sometimes they'll come right off. Let me set those down. Try to get these over here. So yeah, they come out just like that. Yeah, I think those are stained with the valve cover, which is fine. And then what I'm going to do is, you know, just going to pop the valve cover off. And then uh, there's certain spots that you could pry on it without damaging anything. Um, let's see. Because I normally just put a flat screwdriver right there and hit it up. And then there's, you know, this spot right here too you could use. Just stick it underneath the valve cover and pop it up. But if you can't get it up, you might have to uh, tap it for a rubber mallet. So, All right, so I'm actually going to use... Uh, my small pry bar so I'm just gonna set it right there all right that came out actually that actually came out easy just like that set the belt over to the side <clears throat> all right next thing uh, shoot all this off but you gotta get the crank pulley off first down I'm just using my phone to record so I'm gonna shoot that uh, that's a 19 millimeter crank bolt and then I'm gonna shoot that out first and then we get this uh, motor mount bracket out these are 14 millimeters three of them You always want to use impact sockets with an impact gun. You never want to use the chrome sockets, only because the chrome sockets will explode. All right, so reverse. There you go. All right, so now the crank pulley, uh, crank pulley bolts out, and then um, okay, you can see it better. So <clears throat> be careful removing it. Cause it's got this little keyway here you don't want to lose so carefully pull off the keyway is right here stuck on this pulley 
<clears throat> so that's what I'm talking about right there. And normally, it sits right there and it locks the uh, crank pulley in one position. So you don't want to lose this right here. <clears throat> so let's set that to the side. All right, so now let's shoot these guys out. The 14 millimeter. come out three bolts 14 millimeters <clears throat> all right so now next one I'm gonna move is the VTC sorry about that all right there we go the VTC is one 10 millimeter bolt which is this long one Alright, so VTC is ready to come out. Just pull straight out. Now I'm gonna shoot these tens out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then there's three on the bottom of the oil pencil. One, two, and three. Oh, I'm sorry. My magnet's not being strong. So yeah, so they're all pretty much the same length. The ones for the oil pan is the shortest one of all. So there's only three of them. So you can't really, uh, you know, go wrong. Uh, the crank sensor's already been removed. Uh, you don't have to remove it. You can leave it on the cover. Uh, they're all 10 millimeters. So you get the oil pan out first. And then these two right here at the bottom is the important ones. This one and this one. Because those are your alignments. They're a special uh, bolt. They got that little, uh, they call that shoulder right here. They're shoulder bolts. So that's what uh, aligns uh, your cover on. And they are can't mix them up they're they only fit in the two bottom so now I'm gonna shoot all these tins out So here's the comparison of the all the other bolts, and here's the comparison to two bottom specialty bolts. You see, there's two different ones. One has a shoulder. This is a shoulder bolt. This is just your plain bolt. And the shoulder bolts, like I said, are the one that goes down the very bottom right here. <clears throat> all right. So uh, double check before we start prying everything. Got all the bolts, and then uh, right here. The, that little spot right there it's kind of hard to see but yeah that spot right there that's where you can put a pry bar to pry it open and also back here the little split right there is made for prying all right so let's set you guys down right here <clears throat> It. Now I've got the, belt, the side cover off. <clears throat> so all I got to do now is shoot all these bolts. All these are 12 millimeters. All these, except for uh, that one there. That's a 10 millimeter. But everything else is all 12 millimeter. And then you got to shoot that 10 millimeter and that one over there. That's a 10 millimeter also. So that's what I'm going to shoot next. Guys, down. 
So I'm gonna start my tin since I already got my tin socket on. Now I'm going to my 12s. So I'm gonna shoot this one. Funny how some of them is actually loose. <laughs> yeah, this is a JDM motor. All right, so that's all the bolts. And then, of course, I already shot these two tins, these two little ones on the side here. So I'll put those on the side. All right, so now I uh, got all those loose, and I need to loosen up the tensioner in order to uh, free the chain so I could get all these cam caps off. All right, so, and that's where the tensioner, there is a... Uh, Two bolts, two 10 millimeters. And that's it. Broke loose. I like to try to keep the bolts together in there, so I'm gonna set it somewhere else. <clears throat> All right, so now the chain, the timing chain's free. I'm gonna take this piece off. I'm going to leave the two bolts in there so I don't mix them up. <clears throat> Alright, so now I can take the chain off. Just like that. Chain's off. And then I'm just going to leave those guys right there. Um, take care of those later. So now i got to get these cam caps off. <clears throat> and so, well, let's see, they're already just by taking the chain off they already broke loose some of them but as you can see yep so yeah you can actually stick a flat in there and slowly pry but you don't want to pry like on that surface there or you know any major maintenance surfaces because uh just for the fact that um you know oil will start leaking so you don't want to pry on any of these surfaces I'm gonna actually pause you guys uh, and so because the video is getting really long but yeah but basically what I'm just gonna be doing is just you know sticking screwdrivers in there just kind of twisting it and it's actually gonna go up a little bit um, so I'm gonna get those off and then I'll show you guys some more 